Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 blog. Alright guys, in this week's video, I've got some exciting news that all of us have been waiting for for a very long time. You know, if you've been watching my videos over the past couple of weeks, I did a video where I talked about how Novartis and Avexis are trying to get their drug, AVXS 101, passed through the FDA so that it can become the second FDA approved treatment for those of us with SMA. Well, the exciting news is, it looks like this process is well underway. On Monday, December the 3rd, which was this previous Monday, there was an article that was posted to the QSMA website. And I'm not going to read you the entire article, but I will post a link to the article in the description of this video so that you can see the entire article for yourself. So after you watch this video, go down and click on the link and you can read the article. But I'm just going to highlight what was said. The title of the article was Novartis Announces FDA Filing Acceptance and Priority Review for AVXS 101. So what this is, is Novartis announced that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has accepted the company's what they call BLA, or Biologics License Application. When Novartis and Avexis filed for approval through the FDA, they had to start by filing what was called the BLA. And this was just a package where Novartis and Avexis gave the FDA all the information that they needed so that the FDA could make a final decision whether to accept or to deny AVXS 101. Well, the FDA has accepted Novartis and Avexis's BLA, so that's the first step. So they've already gone through that hurdle, and now they're waiting on either final approval or denial of the drug. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they will get accepted because all the results in the clinical trials were outstanding results. So there really should be no reason why the FDA would not give final approval to Novartis and Avexis for their drug. So probably by the end of May, maybe late April, early May, somewhere in that time frame, we will see another treatment for those of us with SMA. Let me read you a little bit more. It said that priority review designation means that the FDA's goal is to take action on an application within six months compared to 10 months under what they call standard review. So in a previous video, I told you that if it was accepted, it may be June or July, maybe even August before it gets approved. Now we're looking at maybe late April or early May is the time frame. So this is fantastic news. Now, remember that when they get this drug passed to become the second FDA approved treatment for SMA, it's only going to be available to those infants with SMA type one under nine months of age. But those of us that are adults, we have no reason to be discouraged because they are working on another method to bring this treatment to those of us that have SMA types two and three that are older. It goes on to read, currently two approaches are being studied. An injection into a vein known as an IV delivery, which is what they'll give these little children uh, under nine months of age. And then the other one is an injection directly into the CSF or the cerebral spinal fluid, an approach known as IT delivery, which is intrathecal delivery. Now, those of us that get our injections in our back, that's what, it, that's what it's known as, as an IT delivery. Now, some of you get your injections in your neck, known as a cervical injection. It too will be available. So anytime that they talk about an IT delivery, that can mean in your back or the cervical injection, which is in your neck, all right? The IV delivery approach is currently under review for approval by the FDA. So that's what I'm talking about. The little infants with SMA type one, under nine months of age, that's what they're studying right now. IT delivery or intrathecal delivery of gene therapy has shown promise for reducing the amount of drug required for larger and older patients. This could eventually make the treatment accessible to a wider population. IT delivery of gene therapy is currently being tested in clinical trials right now. So if these clinical trials go well, which I suspect that they will, then uh, Avexis and Novartis will file another BLA with the FDA to get the IT delivery method approved by the FDA so that those of us that are older with SMA types two and three, we should be able to receive these treatments as well. So it's gonna be a little bit later than May or June of this coming year. 
I'm thinking maybe by the end of next year or the first part of 2020, maybe this treatment will be available to those of us that are older with SMA types 2 and 3. So look guys, we have so much to look forward to. But be thankful for the parents who had these little children under nine months of age because they're gonna be able to receive this treatment and these children may never know what a wheelchair is. They may never have to go through the devastating results that those of us have suffered throughout our life. You know, this is a terrible disease. It's the number one genetic killer of children around the world. So, the, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel is getting brighter and brighter each and every day for all of us. And we have so much to be thankful for. And I hope that your level of enthusiasm is as great as mine. Okay? Please, please, if you are a religious person, thank God that these little infants are not going to have to go through what we've gone through as adults. And for those of us that are adults, again, the light at the end of the tunnel is brighter and brighter. We have a lot to look forward to, so please keep a smile on your face. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video that I did. And anytime that there's going to be an update with regards to the status of this treatment, I'll make sure that I pass it along to you. Don't forget, go down to the description of this video and click on the link so that you can read the article for yourself. Okay. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to be notified of any new videos that I produce. I hope all of you have had a fantastic week. Do me a favor this upcoming week. Do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. God bless you. And until next Sunday, bye-bye.